Now, welcome to this uh, question uh, which was asked in uh, CAT 2020 and the question is something like this that uh, log a base 30 is a log a 5 by 3 is minus b log a ba small a base 2 is 1 by 3 what is log a base 3 in terms of these options okay so what you can do is log a base 30 is a and log a base 5 by 3 is minus b so just subtract this from this what are what is happening because everywhere a plus b is given so just subtract this from this so right hand side comes out to be a plus b and this comes out to be log a 30 minus log a 5 by 3 that comes out to be log a 30 by 5 by 3 that comes out to be log a base uh, log a base 18 that is equal to a plus b okay so mindful of this part as well okay so i can write log a base 9 plus log a base 2 is equal to a plus b okay now you are seeing log log 2 base small a is i need to know so lo you are seeing log a base 2 is 1 by 3 so if, you, if i interchange these two it becomes 3 only so this value will be equal to 3 so which means log a base 9 is equal to a plus b minus 3 so if I take 3 square so it is 2 log a base 3 is equal to a plus b minus 3 so log a base 3 is equal to a plus b minus 3 by 2 but I need to find log log 3 base a is this one so I need to find log a base 3 so what I need to do is just inverse this so it comes out to be log 3 base a is equal to 2 by a plus b minus 3 so the correct option is option number a is the correct option so this was a not not so easy but not so difficult question you should need need to know the basics of this uh, log logarithms then only we'll be able to do this question thank you now if you see this question this is again a question on log uh, question is something like this you need to simplify you need to find a simplified value of this so if you know the basics it becomes very very easy so just write 2 into 4 into 8 into 16 upon you you could write this as log 2 square log 2 2 square whole square into log 2 square 2 cube whole cube into log 2 4 base 2 cube like like this and then you write this okay so if you know over here so you know this 2 comes over to be here so in the denominator becomes in the numerator will become remain same as 2 into 4 into 8 into 16 the denominator becomes uh, 2 so two, it will be 2 square into this will be 3 and this will be 2 so 3 by 2 whole cube into this will be 4 by 3 whole cubes whole to the power of 4 right so this is how you will attempt this question just you need to know because 2 and 2 will cancel right so log 2 and log 2 will cancel only thing remaining will be 4 by 3 so now it becomes 2 into 4 into 8 into 16 upon 2 square into 3 cube uh, by 2 cube into 4 raised to the power 4 by 3 raised to the power 4 so this 3 will go up and the net power of this will be 2 square 2 cube so this will be 2 so 2 to the power 8 by 2 is 2 to the power 7 so 3 into 2 into 4 into 8 into 16 by 2 raised to the power of 7 so it comes out at 3 into 2 into 2 square into 2 cube into 2 4 that comes out to be 2 to the power of 10 by 2 to the power of 7 so 3 into 2 to the power 10 by 2 to the power of 7 that comes out to be 3 into 2 cube that is equal to 8 into 8 into 3 is 24 so the answer for this question is 24 only trick here is just understand this this part over here and you should be very fast in writing straight away uh, like this because you, you are seeing over here that all these are powers of 2 so the moment you see powers of 2 just write it straight away okay so that that bulb will uh, has to be instantly glow then only you will be able to do this question fast okay thank you 
Now if you see this question, Anil, Sunil and Ravi run along a circular path of length 3 km starting from the same point at the same time and going in the clockwise direction. That is immaterial. Whether they go in the clockwise or anti-clockwise, that does not mean as that does not matter so much as long as they are traveling in the same direction. Let's assume they are traveling in this direction. So Anil travels at 15, Sunil travels at 10 and Ravi travels at 8. So how much distance will Ravi have run when Anil and Sunil meet again for the first time at the starting point? So what is the time taken by Anil to complete one round? It will be, for Anil it will be 3 by 15 hours because he runs at 15 and distance is 3. And for Sunil it will be 3 by 10 hours. So they will meet at the starting point after the LCM of 3 by 15 and 3 by 10. I think you must have known this. So they will meet after just take the LCM of 3 and 3 will be 3, HCF of 15 and 10 that will be 5, so they will meet after 3 by 5 hours at the starting point. So in those, th which means I have to calculate the distance travelled by Ravi in those 3 by 5 hours. So what is the distance travelled by Ravi in 3 by 5 hours? It will be 8 into 3 by 5, that is equal to 24 by 5, that is equal to 4.8 kilometers. So the answer for this question is 4.8 kilometer. Very, very easy question. You should straight away do this question instantly when you see this question first. Thank you. One of the features of CAT is to identify the easier questions, the sitter ones. So this is one of those questions which is a sitter, right? Straight away you do this question and you feel relaxed about yourself. So this is the question. A and B, they are 90 kilometers apart. So they are 90 kilometers, this starts at 9 a.m., this starts at 10.30 a.m. Okay, so when it starts at 10.30 a.m., he has traveled, A has traveled one and a half hours. So one and a half hours, 40 kilometers, what is the distance traveled by A? It is 40 into 1.5, that is equal to 60 kilometers. So now the logic is something like this. So distance between A and B is 90 minus 60 is how much? 30 kilometers. And A travels at 40 and B travels at 20. So what is the time taken to meet? It will be distance by sum of the speeds so 40, 30 distance is now 30 km over the sum of the speeds which is 40 plus 20. So it is 30 by 60 hours. So 30 by 60 is half hour, half hour is 30 minutes. So this was a scene at 10.30 am and they meet 30 minutes after 10.30 am is they meet after at 11 am. So the answer for this question is 11 am. Very, very easy question. The moment you see this question, you should be able, you should feel confident about yourself when you see this question. And the identifying the sitters are is a very important element of attempting a CAT paper. Thank you. Now, if you see this question, uh, x1 is equal to minus 1, xm is equal to xm plus 1 plus m plus 1 for every positive integer m, then x100 equals to how much? Okay, now all the options are in minus, so it's sure the answer will be minus only. Okay, so what you can to do is you just have to see the pattern, understand the pattern, you will do this question very, very easily. Put m equal to 1, so x1 is equal to x2 plus 2. So x2 comes out to be uh, x1 minus 2, that is equal to minus 1 minus 2, that is equal to 3, minus 3. Right, similarly, x3 comes out to be uh, x3 comes out to be x2 minus m plus 1. m plus 1 is 3, so it is minus 3, minus 3, that comes out to be minus 6. Now, seeing over here, for finding x2 and it comes out to be minus 3, it is the sum of the natural numbers till 2. When it is x3, it is the sum of the natural numbers till 3, from 1 till 3, with a minus sign before. So if I, now I can blindly say that x4 has to be uh, minus 6, minus 4, that is equal to minus 10, which is the sum of the natural numbers from 1 to 4. So for finding x100, it will be minus of 1 till 100, the sum of all the natural numbers. So 1 till 100, what is the sum of all the natural numbers from 1 till 100? It will be 100 into 100, 1 by 2. That is equal to 101 into uh, 50 that is equal to 5050 is our answer so with a negative sign of course so you should be very very much careful so it will be uh, 5050 so answer for this question is option number 3 very very easy question you should attempt this question thank you